Hi, welcome back. So we've successfully managed to install Docker. Let's now start using it and see how it works. Now to run a Docker container, we need to know the base Docker image, the Docker image that this container that we'd like to run is based on. And uh, there's a very small and lightweight Docker image called BusyBox. What it does is you, when you run a container off that image, it you pass it a command, it executes that command for you. Um, and to, to run a Docker container, we do docker run, and then we provide the uh, image name. And as we mentioned, this one executes a command. So let's maybe pass it the command echo hello or something like that. And notice now what's going to happen when I hit enter. What it does is it tries to find this image, BusyBox, locally, meaning on our system. Uh, if it doesn't find it, then it downloads it from the default um, Docker registry and by default Docker uh, saves in and downloads from uh, Docker Hub as you can see here this is Docker Hub hub.docker.com we'll come to this in the coming videos I'm going to be explaining this and how we can upload things and pull things down from from Docker Hub but uh, for, it's good it's useful for you to know that this is the default repository where Docker images are uh, saved online and shared online and what it does is it pulls down or downloads the image and then runs that container off that image and here we can see the result of the command echo hello and it echoes the word hello right um, that's the very basic image let's run the, maybe a more useful one let's run the Ubuntu and by the way for us to find uh, docker containers their names and details we can look them up on docker hub we will learn how we can search for containers later um, docker run Ubuntu and then let's go inside this container and remember, maybe run a bash script and what, what we'd like to do here is we'd like to run it interactively we can do that by you doing minus it right this is an option to run a docker uh, container automatically and again we provide the image name which is Ubuntu the default Ubuntu uh, image the, the default Ubuntu docker image again doesn't find it locally it try to it will try to download it from docker hub and it'll take a while, so let me pause and come back to you when it finishes. Excellent, it has finished, and we are now inside this Docker container. This is a very basic Ubuntu uh, image, not much uh, is installed inside. If we check the number of uh, installed packages inside this uh, Ubuntu image, only 103. If I check the number of packages installed, on um, my Ubuntu, which I'm running using VirtualBox, more than 1700, right? Even simple commands like wget are not there. If we'd like to install something, let's just actually install something, maybe uh, curl or something like that. Let's install curl. Um, we do apt get update first. We'll update our packages and so on and so forth. And then we can install curl. Yep. And then up get install CURL as some people prefer to call it. Yeah, let's accept that 19 point something megabytes. Hopefully it'll be quick enough. So what we're doing here is we are inside the container, not the image. And you must have noticed by now that sometimes I say Docker container, sometimes I say uh, Docker image. I will explain what the difference is in the coming videos. But let's now at least get our hands busy by running containers and seeing how they work. Okay, so we've updated this container. We've uh, installed um, the curl package and automatically it must have installed the uh, some of the, dep the dependencies are required packages. If we do the count again, now count how many packages we have. Previously we had... 103 now we have 137 okay we've updated the container by installing curl if we exit however and then run <clears throat> the same container again if we do curl curl it will not be there maybe i should have typed curl there and try to 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 verify that it has installed but it has installed but now in the new in, the, in this uh, uh, container which is based on the same image Curl is not there. Why is that? The reason is that this is a fresh, a fresh uh, container. So it's a completely new container. It has nothing to do with the previous one. 
I hope the idea makes sense that this is a fresh container, has nothing to do with the previous one. If we wanted to save the changes we made to any container, then it becomes an image. We can commit the changes, create a new image. We will do that later in the coming videos. Um, one interesting thing that we can know about, uh, we can learn about Docker is how to list running containers. Well, we can do Docker PS to list running containers. And you notice here it gives us container ID, the image name, the base image name, the command running, and so on and so forth, when it was created, uh, and so on and so forth. One th interesting thing here is that Docker gives containers unique IDs, and it's usually quite long. These are only the first few characters. And that's the base image name, and it also gives them gives them name or names, or Docker containers can have names. Um, we can actually assign a name to a Docker container. We've not done that here, so Docker has assigned this name uh, automatically. See, the column here should be the field names um, refers to this uh, name that Docker has given to this image, right? These are some details, and by the way, to run, to, I'm sorry, to check Docker images, which can do, we can just do Docker images, and Docker tells us that we have locally now, we have these two images, the Ubuntu and BusyBox, latest tags, Again, it gives them unique IDs, which are quite long, but these are only the few first few characters when it was when they were created or updated last, and then the size in megabytes. Okay, um, what else can we do? We, could, we, we can, can we do in this video? Well, I think that's enough. We've run our first containers. We've managed to list existing uh, running containers, and we've managed to uh, list the existing Docker images that we have. Let's stop here and continue in the next video.